Welcome back again. I'm Kiari Mooney and I'm here to tell it like it is. Let's get to it. First of all, I would like to say I am so excited that I am on my last box of Invisalign. I've been on this journey since February of this year. And let me tell you, it has been a long, long journey. See, growing up for me, it was very, very tough. I had a lot of insecurities. My biggest insecurity growing up was my teeth. And I have to tell you, since I sing and dance and do all these crazy things, I constantly have people you know, looking at me and wanting to, you know, get up close and personal with me. So my teeth would always hold me back from having a conversation with somebody, you know, giving somebody a good smile, a good greeting of the day. That for me was, was my anchor point, I would say, in, in my life, something that held me back from moving forward. Now I am better than ever. I feel great um, being on my last box of Invisalign again. Um, I would say the first step, well before I go any further, I would like to shout out my good friend Karan for giving me this awesome Wendy Williams sweater, this How You Doing Wendy Williams sweater, which you can get on her website at www.wendywilliamsshow.com. And also, however, you can also log on to my website, kiarimoon.com forward slash shop to get hoodies, shirts, hats, beanies, all of the, the whole nine yards. So the first step of getting Invisalign, you have to have a reason to want them or you have to have some sort of like motivation my motivation was you know obviously I sing I dance I do all these crazy things I'm in front of people all the time so that was kind of my motivation for getting Invisalign in the first place it's very pricey be willing to spend at least three to five thousand dollars that's just a rough estimate of what it could cost to get Invisalign um, for me, mine cost about $5,000. My case was a little bit more severe. I had like crowding, I had overbites. I'm gonna be putting up a few pictures just to show a couple of examples of what I'm talking about and also the process in which I had to go through, you know, looking at my teeth, transform from being very messed up to being just this $500 million, you know, uh, Hollywood smile. The second step to getting Invisalign is you have to go in and actually see someone. So what I did, I was at a mall shopping around and I, you know, saw this um, this Gladwell orthodontist place and I was super curious. So I was like, okay, let me go see what they're talking about. I walked in, immediately was greeted by a young lady. She was absolutely the kindest person on this earth, trust me. She greeted me with a smile and she said, what can I help you with? So I showed her my smile and she said, I got you. And so what I did, I sit down in a chair, she scanned my teeth. It took less than like 10 minutes to do these scans. She scanned my teeth and within minutes, they were molds of my teeth. There were molds of my teeth um, sent off to a lab to get me um, examined and to see whether or not they could help my case. So what they do, they take this little, I don't know, this little tool and they, you know, have you open your mouth, because back in the day it used to be, you know, you have to take this little uh, purple gunk and then put it up in a tray, then you have to set it in your mouth and whatnot. It was just a whole process. It was a whole process. So, uh, thank God this was a little bit different. They literally set me back in a chair and just scanned my mouth with a little, a little tool they had. Very high tech, let me tell you, with some very high tech stuff. Um, like I said, it took less than 10 minutes. I was out there on my way shopping out in the mall literally in less than 10 minutes. The next day I got a call back from the doctor saying that they approved my case and I was on to the next step. The next step for me was going to the actual facility in which they provided the services. So I did just that and um, they were, again, they were kind, they were nice, they were, you know, very informative on like, you know, the different options I could go. Um, one option, which I was not a fan of, they were supposed to take out some of my teeth and I was like, no, nah, I don't want to go that route because for me, I like a very full smile. I wanted a very full smile. So in order for me to get a very full smile, I had to keep all of my teeth, of course. I'm not get rid of them. So, and also, if you get rid of some teeth in your mouth, you have to go and either have them do it or you have to go and have someone else do it, uh, which will cost extra money. Um, again, without that, it was $5,000. So you can just imagine how much more money will, you will be coming out of your pocket with on spending for your teeth. I'm like Cardi B at this point. You know, I got a bag and fix my teeth. I hope you... No, it ain't cheap. Yeah, no, that ain't cheap. So, moving right along. So I decided not to take any teeth out and to keep all of my 32 teeth that I have in my mouth. They then sent my 
modes or my templates off to the Invisalign company, um, which they, you know, created me at least about, I don't know, my first one was uh, give or take 10 um, Invisalign sets, which then was equated to 10 weeks. So pretty much they provided me with 10 sets of trays for 10 weeks. So every week I was changing my trays. I'm still changing my trays now. Um, every uh, seven days. So for me, like in the beginning, it's all about just being consistent with brushing your teeth. Um, I I had to brush my teeth at least about five, six times a day. Um, that's why my smile is extra white because I have to brush them so many times. That could be a good and a bad thing depending on you know um, which research you go off of. So for me, I've seen a bunch of again compliments. I've received you know um, a bunch of comments about my teeth. Honestly, for me, I'm no doctor or anything like that, but I think it's a good thing to be brushing your teeth after you eat something because after you eat something, so you take your trays out, you eat a snack, you need to brush your teeth right afterwards. And that's the only thing I can say that I had to jump into the swing of, which is brushing my teeth that many times a day. Um, on a normal basis, I would brush my teeth two to three times a day or two to four times a day, depending on what I do and what I'm eating. I recommend you brush your teeth after every single meal or after every single snack, because for me, that's going to prevent cavities. That's going to prevent anything from you know, the, the wear and tear of the Invisaligns itself. You don't want to have food stuck in there and then you put your Invisaligns on and then they're offset or they sit weird or whatever the case may be. Or even worse, you have food stuck in your mouth and then while your teeth is growing and stuff, the food is going inside of your gums and then you just create a whole bunch of just mess, all right? So for me, brushing my teeth after each meal is definitely where it's at for me. So a lot of people have questions on like, you know, how will, how does the Invisalign actually straighten your teeth? So with each set of Invisalign trays, it tweaks one or two teeth at a time to really move you towards that perfect smile that you're paying for. Our person of the week goes to Naya Wilson. Shout out to Naya because she is extraordinary. She's a businesswoman and she owns Shimmer My Minx. And let me tell you, she's extraordinary with this. She's absolutely outstanding. Please log on to shimmerminx.com to book your appointment with Naya Wilson. She's absolutely amazing. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Also be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell icon so you can get a notification every time I upload a brand new video. Thanks for watching, like it is, happy holidays, and see you next time.